Today, we have topic about identification key. Friends, do you know there are millions of animal in the world and it have to be able to identify them and need to sort animals into groups. We can do this with an identification key. There are keys for animal and keys for plants. Friends, what are identification keys? Identification key are a way of identifying living things through a series of questions. Look at, I have snail in the picture. Here are some questions if we might ask in the world to find out if that animals talking about snail. These are example for the question. Like, does it have legs? Does it have fur? Does it live on land? Okay. It is example for the question if if we want to identification key. But friends, you must know about this for how to make identification key. The first is the question will gradually get more specific as they separate living thing that are more similar. The second is the characteristic of living thing are what make it similar or different to other living things. And the third is all species of living things have unique set of characteristic. And the last is species with similar characteristic are put into group. This is how to we we classify living things. Friends, now that we mention animal group, here you can see the best six, six animal group, and those are we can also use for identification. What are the characteristic characteristic for the six animal groups? Here you are. The first is mammals. Mammals have hair and fur. Give birth to live young and warm blooded. The second is amphibians. Amphibians have moist skin, lay eggs, cold blooded, and live in land or water. The third is fish. Fish live in water, lay eggs, cold blooded. The fourth is birds. Birds have feathers, have wings, have beak lay egg and warm blooded the fifth is reptiles reptiles have scales lay eggs called blooded and the last is insect insect have two antenna and six legs and called blooded i have four animals the first i have birds the second, I have cats. It's so cute, cats. And the third, I have fish. And the fourth or the last, I have snail. Yes, I want to make identification keys in order to get to each of this animal at the end. Yeah, friend, I want to make identification keys uh, for the four animal. Okay, so I need ask yes or no question and I can get each of this animal. And for the first question in identification keys must be general question. Yes, friend, must be general question. And then 
The next question is get more specific. Okay? So, if we have four animal here, birds, cats, fish, and snail, the first thing we might do this pair them into group and then move on until we get each animal. For example, our first question is like, does the animal have legs? Yes, friends, some animal have legs, but some animal have no legs. Okay, the answer is must be yes and no. Yeah, the answer is yes or no. You find the animal, yeah, have legs and no legs. Yeah. Where is the four animal, uh, birds, cat, fish, and snail? What are the have legs? What they are have no legs? Okay. For the next step is if we answer yes and the question is get more specific. Yes. The question is get more specific. Yeah, you have uh, animal have legs, right? Okay. The most the more specific question is like, does it have two legs? Yeah. The more specific question is like, does it have two legs? And if we answer no. The question next is the specific question. It's like, does it have fins? Yes. Does it have fins? Okay. Can you get it? Where the animal have two legs and where the animals have fins. Okay. Okay. The next step is, and if we answer yes you think what the animal have two legs and if we answer no you think the animal have legs but the leg is have no two legs maybe more more legs maybe and if we say, if we say or if we answer yes, get more specific question. Does it have feathers? Does, does it have feathers? Yes, in four animals in that picture, the animal have feather is, yes, I know. Yes, if you get Yes, if you answer yes, the answer is a bird. Good, good answer. It is a bird. Yes, you can find one animal at the end. Okay, and the next is if you answer no, animal have no two legs and you make question more specific it's like does it have four legs yes i know in that four animals the animal have four legs it is yes the answer is yes and the answer is cat yes we can find cat until the end okay friends it easy Okay, and the next, if we say no, and the question is, does it have fins? If we, if you say yes, the answer is yes. What the animal have fins? Can you guess? Yes, I can guess. It is a fish. Yes, good answer. Yes, 
the animal have fins and no ha uh, have no legs is fish good answer and if does it have fins the answer is no you find question specific more it's like does it have moist skin yes for make sure for make sure you uh, find question specific yes the answer is yes can you guess what the animal have moist skin yes it is snail okay friend for the four animals yes we can find uh, this animal at uh, animal at the end okay this is our example of identification keys it easy right okay friends okay for the last meeting I have exercise for you yes open the exer uh, science uh, workbook page 20 and do the exercise 2.4 and 2.5 it is about identification keys and don't forget do the exercise and to submit to your teacher okay do the exercise and don't forget if you finish the exercise and submit to your teacher friends thank you for today thank you for your attention and watching this video until the end see you again in the next meeting in the next science lesson um, stay safe and healthy at home ya uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh